Hey Masters, welcome back to Join Media. Today I want to talk about charting with Playwright. I'm going to explain to you this concept with a practical example using this JAML file to run a GitHub action to explain you in detail what is going on with this feature. Hey Masters, let's review the official explanation here just to understand the idea of charting, okay? They, they say that Playwright test execution by running tests on multiple machines simultaneously it's a mode of operation that they called charting. That's basically it. Run tests on multiple machines, right? Simultaneously. That's basically the idea. So here we have a basic example explaining us sharding tests between multiple machines. So to shard test the test suite, we need to pass this flag chart to the command line. For example, to split the suite in four charts, each running one fourth of the tests, we have to use this beautiful command over here in every single machine, okay? And then here we have a configuration that we need to do in our, well, test part in our framework if we want to, uh, well, have like blob reporter to then uh, have a beautiful HTML report using the logs, okay? So this configuration is pretty simple. You just have to go to your framework, open the playwright.config.js and look for the reporter and make sure that you have the option of blob in case you are in CI, in CI yeah? And here we have HTML as well, all right? That's beautiful. And um, this is the configuration that you need to do. And then, uh, well, here we have the explanation of that blob. Let's take a look. Blob report contains information about all the tests that were run and their results. It is a JSON, kind of JSON file. It's a different one, but that's basically it. And well, that's the, the idea of blob report. The idea of the blob reports, we're gonna see the output as soon as we run this in GitHub Actions, and you're gonna understand what is going on. And then we here we have a GitHub example. Git, I'm sorry, a GitHub Actions example. Well, now that we understand the concept, what is charting, how to run charting in every single machine using this flag chart, I want to explain you my example. So let's go ahead and take a look of my framework. Okay, masters, if you remember the last video, I want to actually show you the last video that I up uploaded in case you want to take a look. Okay, I'm gonna look for Join Media, Playwright and the word a uh, parallelism okay you're gonna find this beautiful video beyond sequential testing a dive into parallel execution with playwright you're gonna have in that video a full explanation of how to run your tests in parallel however i'm gonna use the same test files that i created before i'm gonna explain i'm gonna explain you pretty quick what is going on in here i have a couple of test files right every single one have four tests per each and basically, uh, the well, the syntax here is parallel in every single uh, test. And basically, I'm just referencing the test file name here, number two, and test case numbers. Test case number one, test case number two, test case number three, then test case number four for each test file, right? I see, I think you have the idea over here, right? But, uh, well, the, the how you can run this, this test suite? Well, you just have to run the command. Let me show you this. <clears throat> for instance, mpx playwright test dash g, and it is going to look for all the tests that have the word parallel in the test name. Okay, so I, I'm going to run it, and you're going to see that well, it is using parallelism to run pretty, pretty quick. Okay, then we're going to have the final results, and I can actually run this command mpx playwright show report to see the HTML report. I want, I want to show you that just to well show you that it works and what is going on. You can see I am executing every test file uh, and every single test case in Chromium and Firefox, okay? That's the idea of this particular test. And well, in console, we can see like the logs because I was using console out here to represent uh, or see what is going on in every single test. That was part of the explanation of parallelism. If you wanna see and understand all the details, well, you can come here to my project and check the, the parallelism nodes. Uh, and also you can check my videos. I'm telling you to understand how the workers, um, well, function and that kind of stuff, right? But there it is. Now that we understand the example, I'm gonna go to our JAML file to explain you 
what is going on using the official documentation and also, well, uh, uh, an actual example like this one, right? Let's take a look of how it works. All right, masters, now we, that we know how to run our tests locally, now that we understand the logical under the simple example that I was trying to explain you before, now that we know what is sharding after we read the official documentation, it is time to see the JAML file to see a practical example of chart or charting in GitHub Actions, okay? So here is the JAML file. The first thing that we have to know here is that the name of this uh, GitHub Action is gonna be Playwright Tests, okay? And I have some configurations on on. This means that our action is gonna be executed on push, pull requests, or in workflow dispatch, okay? And this workflow dispatch is gonna help us to execute or it is gonna enable a UI option for our repository to run our workflow just with this option over here, okay? It's beautiful. Now we, that we know this, it is time to take a look of the jobs. We have the job playwright tests and we have the job merge reports. All right, masters, let's take a look of the playwright tests job. This is the first one and let me give you the highlights of the configurations that we have here. First of all, it is important to say that it is gonna run on Ubuntu latest. All right, beautiful. And we're gonna use this strategy configuration that we have available in GitHub Actions to use a matrix. What is a matrix? Let's go ahead and take a look in the official documentation. GitHub Actions supports sharding tests between multiple jobs using the jobs, job ID, a strategy matrix option. The matrix option will run a separate job for every possible combination of the provided options. It means in this context that we're gonna be running for a um, job, for jobs, for or using Ubuntu latest in this case. Beautiful, that's it. So um, the official documentation also is telling us to don't forget to add the reporter process MCI blob HTML. That's something that we have done before and it is here. That's that's it. Let me go back to our JAML file. Now that we have the, the strategy using matrix, you can see a couple of parameters here, chart index and chart total. Let me go back to the documentation. So as you can see, uh, we're gonna be using a matrix option to our job configuration with this chart total. Uh -huh. Okay. And well, that's it. The chart total is gonna be four, okay? It is gonna contain the total number of charts we want to create, and then we have the chart index. Mm -hmm. It means that we're gonna have a total of charts, of four charts, and we're gonna be running, a, well, a set of test cases per each. That's it. And then we have to run our playwright tests with this flag, dash dash chart, and the parameters that we saw before, basically chart one and four or two and four in every single machine. But we're gonna be using the matrix to use that like in, in parameters, right? Let me show you this. Now that we understand how the matrix works, then we have some steps. The first one is gonna be a checkout, then it is gonna set up note, and then we're gonna be installing the dependencies on the browsers using the command npm ci and npx playwright install uh, with depths. That's, that's gonna be like the playwright configuration in our jobs. That's it. And then we have the command to run the playwright tests uh, as, the, as you remember in my explanation before, to run our tests locally, the command was npx playwright test dash g parallel. Okay, but now we have to add the chart command. Well, it is gonna be like this. Let me show you this. Chart, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, no, that was not my idea. Let me see. What we're doing in CICD, or in this case in GitHub Actions, is to like represent this command locally for every single job but instead of sending number one and four, I'll be using, well, the matrix that we have here. So for instance, um, if we're running the job number one, it is gonna use matrix chart index, which represents one, right? And then the matrix chart total, which is four, 
okay? But if we're running the second job, it is gonna use the chart index number two. So it's gonna look like this in CI, right? Dash, dash, chart, two, uh, between four. So this is the idea of this flag over here in CI. We're gonna be running a different chart command per every single um, job that we have in our execution. We're gonna have four of them, okay? Uh, now that we understand that, it is gonna upload a blob, re a blob report to GitHub Action Artifacts. I'm gonna show you that in a few seconds with our practical example. All right, masters, I have already a workflow finished, okay? And I want to give you context of what is going on in the job so you can like imagine what is going on. Um, let me open it for you. As you can see, we have uh, a GitHub action, which is Playwright Tests, because that's the name that we have over here, right? And you can see a couple of, uh, well, actually jobs. Here we have the first one, Playwright Test, because this is the name of, uh, or actually the, the first job over here. And then we have Merge Reports, because that's the second job that I have in GitHub Actions over here, right? This is in case you, you well, you are not like super aware of GitHub Actions, but this is why you can see this structure over here, okay? If you take a look of this inside of the Playwright Test job, here we have like four different jobs inside of that job, <laughs> okay? And this is because of the matrix that we declared before, okay? So if you open, for instance, the first job here, and you take a look of, of the Playwright Tests, you can see that here we have, um, well, four test cases. And if we take a look of the second um, job over here of the chart, here we have more test cases because we're splitting them and we're running our tests in different CI machines. That's right, right? Beautiful. But also, this is something important that I want to explain to you and show you. Every single job that I have here is gonna be having a blob report. And that's what we're doing here in our first job, Playwright Tests, in the step, upload blob report to GitHub Action. Okay, if I download this for you, so you can see what is going on, you can see a zip file. And if I open this zip file, you can see a JSON L uh, file. Okay, that's it. But now in the second job that I have after the Playwright test execution, which is merge reports, we're gonna take all the blob reports that we have, we're gonna merge them and we're gonna have a final HTML report for you. Okay, how we do it? Basically, we're gonna need the first job to finish, which is Playwright tests, because it is essential to have all the blob reports uh, uploaded as an artifact. Then we're gonna be using Ubuntu again as the operating system and on the CI machine. And we're gonna use, well, some steps here. We're gonna have checkout, setup node, and we're gonna be installing the dependencies of Playwright because we need it. Beautiful, right? Okay, now that we have that, we need to download the blob reports that we have loaded before. And this is the action that we need to use. Download artifact, and you can see here the path, all blob reports, this is the pattern, and that's it. It is gonna handle the download of the artifacts, and then we're gonna use another step, which is merge into re HTML report. How we do it, it is basically using the command mpx playwright merge reports. This is the command, the flag reporter HTML, and here we have the, uh, the, the, the path. How we, we know that because here we have the, the explanation actually in the official documentation and in test sharding about that command, merging reports from multiple charts. And you can see that we needed to uh, enable this reporter option, and then we can run this command, which is the same that we are using in CI CD. Okay. And now that we merge them and we have it ready, we're gonna upload that HTML report to an artifact in GitHub Action so we can download it over here. Let me show you this. Here it is, HTML report attempt number one. And if I download it, you are gonna be able to see, let me see why I cannot see it. Ah, here it is. 
Here it is, the execution in CI CD. <laughs> okay. And actually, you can see the difference between our local execution and now the CI execution. It's actually pretty similar. You can see that the local execution was using only one computer, mine and locally, but now this is the second report using different charts, using the matrix option in CI CD, in this case, GitHub Actions. And we have like this similar result, but if we're running this in CI CD, probably is gonna save us a little bit of time, right? So that's it, guys. I think that was my best try trying to explain you uh, uh, my best shot trying to explain you sharding in Playwright and I hope that you will kind of get the idea of this beautiful feature that we have in Playwright. So masters, let me know what do you think about this feature? Do you like it or not? Uh, personally, I like it uh, so much and I think I am, I'm pleased that this option is available for free. Uh, I know that parallelism doesn't work the same way in Cypress, but to get a similar kind of configuration like this one in Cypress, we need to pay for this uh, Cypress, um, well, service, right? The Cypress dashboard service. And I'm, I'm pretty happy to have this for free over here with Playwright. So yeah, let me know your thoughts about this. Let me know what do you think about it. And thank you very much for watching this video until the end, masters. Also, I'll try to give you or let this uh, repository for you in, um, in the video description. Hit the like button, subscribe, and see you soon. Bye-bye.